Well, another fun filled morning of rain. It better not be like this again for the whole week. Listen to country grammar. Better keep it down or we'll get another copyright strike on this channel. So I just dropped the girls off and look, they're out there. They're out in the rain. Why am I not out there? Oh, he's cutting up one of those um, little um, flags they stick in the ground. <laughs> he says, I ain't scared, I'll cut that shit up. Oh, I'll be out cutting, I can see it already. This dude actually has a hard um, deal here because all that ground is all jacked up along there. They put a whole new pipeline in along here and screwed it all up. He's just cruising on back right now. But yeah, that's all jacked up. Nice and muddy. But I think the sun's gonna come back out. So here's what I do on a rain out. Well, I watch them do the concrete work. But look at these signs right here. They're painted on. Reminds me of Keith Kelpis. A window washer and sign thing. So I went in and I asked, and I said, hey, who painted those on there? Oh, let me change hands there. She said, these people, they do window washing and paint them on there. Look at that. Just like he says, just like he does, I've seen him do it. it. Takes a little bit of skill there to be the window painter, but, can be done and there's money in it because they change theirs all the time. But we're gonna walk out here and inspect what those guys just did. Because I'm gonna step right across this. Alright, let's take a look at their work. How would you like to have to cut that, huh? <laughs> Pretty jagged. They did a pretty good job for being in the rain. Makes me want to go cut some grass. Gotta jump back across. That's how you do it. So why did I go in the tanning place? Well, it's raining, so I had the opportunity. And the sun is already starting to get to my neck. I don't want to be a redneck, all right? I want to be a lawn freak. My arms my face and neck get a lot of sun. So I go in there and I take my shirt off and I will put my headphones on. Put my shirt around my head, wrap it around look like some sort of freaking creature. I lay down and I stick my arms out of the tanning bed. And that way I get all this. Oh, I take my underwear off too. You gotta do that. And that way I'll be all evened out. So if I go to the water park, it's all good. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing some window washing and window painting. I'm, I don't know if I can take that gig away from them. They did a pretty good job. But one of you freaks could do it. Uh, I thought I'd show you this before I go load up and cut some wet grass. I just got the video going up this morning. I had some setbacks this weekend and um, things just got kind of screwy. So here you go. Can't wait to see that 48 on some nice thick green grass. Ah, me neither. Once I get them yards cut and they turn green, I'm in there. I'll be using it, but I can't reply to you, so all I could do is give you a thumbs up. And um, we'll go on down. What kind of truck does he have? No, it's not a Ford Ranger. It's a Chevy. And let's see. What is that cool tune you play in your videos when you clean up those yards? That would be... Um, a mystery song that I boosted off of a YouTube video 
Physiques and Greatness, Training Delts with Ronnie Coleman. That's the video, and it just has that song playing the whole time. So I ripped it off of there, and I put in videos, because YouTube allows me without giving me a copyright strike. Again, dude, I can't reply to you. And a lot of people say, hey, man, you never reply to me. You never reply to me. And I'm like, look down here, and there's no reply button. I'm like, yep, and I'm still not going to reply to you, <laughs> because I can't, like right here. Hey, can you please respond to this question? I know you're busy, but where is the best place to get your yard equipment? Thanks. Um, no comment because there's no reply. See ya. No, actually, dude. <laughs> get your lawn equipment wherever you can. I like to say get it at your um, biggest, closest dealer. And But if you're just getting basic stuff, you can go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get yourself a mower, trimmer, and a blower and go for it. But if you're wanting commercial equipment, um, a lot of the brands work, you know, just as good. A Red Max and a Steel, you know, they, they work great. So whichever one your dealer, your best dealer in town has, you know, you go there and get it. And um, But most of us, we just use whatever we can at first and we just piece it together here and there. And, well, you know, some use, some new, some from a big box store, some from a, um, a, a lawn care store, and that's about it. I'm going to go out here and cut some grass. I just thought I'd tell you that, you guys, that I can't um, reply to a lot of you. And um, I'll give a big shout out to Deborah. I can't reply to you either on here. There you go. <laughs> I almost forgot to show you what I'm doing here. Been here for a little bit. I'm gonna trim this entire yard. I'm gonna blow out all the bushes and everything because there are a lot of leaves under there. And then I'm gonna come back and cut it. This will be the first cut of the year for this one. And this will be perfect for my 48. What do you think, huh? Yeah, but I'm not gonna put it on it today because it's the first cut and I could. I'm not gonna get it all sloppy. Who would wanna get their brand new mower all sloppy from the wet yard right not me but look at all these leaves and there's garbage in there and stuff so trim it all blow it all out take the small mower and do a pass around the perimeter kind of mulch some of the leaves with it as I'm picking the trash out of it get it prepped because it's real soggy back there and I would rut it up and then I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna go do two more yards just like that just trim them and prep them then start over then I'm gonna actually go do a couple yards all the way through and then come back to these later on last and all I'll have to do is mow and blow and go but I thought I'd show you I mean there's a lot of trimming at this yard it's a big yard for trimming you got you know outside inside all the way around all this stuff all the way down there in there it's the first one too I gotta blow all this crap out mulch it up but look at these um hedges I've trimmed Okay, I maintain all those over there, all that stuff around over in there, and then all of these. But what I want to show you is they're missing right here. A few years ago, a car must have been having let's say a crash or something out here, and one of them jumped the curb and wiped out all these bushes, and he never had them repaired. And there was still another one holding out here, kind of like that one, but it, it died. And there was a couple more that were still being a holdout for a few years, but they're gone too. But I got a picture. I think it's 2008, and um, because I, rem I actually remember having my dad come over here with me. Uh, I had started, I was just doing the hedge trimming. I, was, I had started trimming them, and I got like this first section done, and it was all piled up here, right? It was like all just piled up, all the scraps, because they were like wild. They real had like a lot of it off that year. And you know, these are them on Barberry, so they're sticky. And I said, I called my dad, and I'm right here, and I'm like, Dad, can you um, go past my house, get my old truck, and just come by and just rake this stuff up? I'm right here at the corner, and I told him where I'm at, and he came on by. And I got a picture of that day, and um, he drove my little truck over, and he, he raked it all and scooped it in it and took it all to the dump for me so that I could finish all this and then cut it and then do that yard and still have enough time to get to 7-Eleven so I could make some money because I had a baby on the way. Yep, I remember, I got pictures, I found some pictures of it. One of the rare pictures, but nothing from like the 90s or nothing cool. Me with the long hair. I used to wear shorts too, man, skater shorts. I was a real freak. I'd get done, my legs, 
the hairs on my legs would just be like a, the grass would be like attached to them and it's like like look like a freaking monster yeah pretty cool you get you can get some funky diseases from that too though because you know animals pee all around out here and it gets in one of your little nicks or wounds plus i was riding bmx too so i'd have always have nicks and bashes on my shins <laughs> i still ride that though i don't care but i got shin guards now yep all right enough talk time to get back to work here are those pictures from 2008 these bushes were overgrown like crazy you go all the way along the front then you gotta start heading up the side and it takes up the whole block all the way to the alley the red barberry and um, then they switch into this funky stuff around back and man it, you know you have to really walk around this whole thing both sides up and down all around getting underneath of it and everything and then scooping it all out luckily my dad did come by there's my old truck he filled it up there's my old trailer too before it even had the basket installed and um, Papa Freak saved the day because that was that was just another big mess. He was just getting rid of it as soon as I was trimming it off of there, and um, it worked out. It was a good day. All right, freaks, it's time. I have the 48 out. I can't take it anymore. I have to get stuff done. All right, it's gonna have to go through some yards first cuts, and this is the setup. This is how I have to put it because um, if I put 36 over there and this anywhere behind it, it will hit right here. And front end will be pushing up on this so much on this 36 that it would, it would smash something. There's no other way to put this in here, but it will fit just like that. Look with the 21 right there. I still got a little bit of room to play. Now the side's gonna get scratched up here because it is going to be resting against theirs. But here's something that's cool. It does have a flat edge. It should actually hold it a lot more steady. Both caster wheels are even and flush. The 36, you can see they're staggered. That one sticks out farther, which actually comes in handy sometimes. It helps you go in through corners and turn but the edge is also round so it does have a tendency to bounce off the side you know move around in the trailer because of that one being up farther that one not being against it and that side being round but this is the setup i have a big yard to do a few of them so i'm going to take a lap with the 36 because i have to get it off first well, maybe a few laps because I want to stay away from everything. And then we're going to go ahead and break it out. Oh, yeah. I never even <laughs> took the manual off. I never took the manual off. I haven't even used it yet. I haven't even took the manual off the Velky. Why? I don't know. It's a mower. I know what's going on with it. You start it up and you cut some grass with it. Zero point zero hours. All I've done is drive it around up and down my street, on and off my trailer a few times. Took it to the gas station, filled it up once. Oh, something else to be um, leery of. When you first start loading down your trailers, when you first start driving with a trailer in particular, put your brakes on a lot sooner when you get to a stop sign or a stoplight and behind other cars. Be leery that the trailer can push you and the more weight you put on it. Now, I can even feel a difference towing this and the weight, it could push you through an intersection. If you go speeding thinking you can put the brakes on, it might just push you right on through. Somebody's gonna say, you need air brakes. You need a dually. You need a bigger this. And no, 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 no. I can cut a lot of grass and make a lot of money with everything I have, and so can everyone else. You can have hunks of crap, all right? You don't have, if you think you have to have the top of the line equipment and trailers and vehicles you're mistaken there are people out there making a lot more money than you would imagine with pieces of crap and i've done it and i'm still doing it with what i have i got a little trailer okay Con considering it's pretty little but it fits on there i got a two-wheel drive truck 
There's no air brakes. It's not a dual axle trailer. But it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna cut some grass, kick some ass, and make some cash. So here you go, the very first blades of grass that it cut. Before this moment, I had only turned the blade on three times, just making sure it worked, but never actually cut any grass with it. So I'm coming right out here, got some leaves to mulch up, got the shoot blocker closed, and um, I'm just hitting it. I'm not, I'm, I know I'm gonna have to go back over certain areas, so I'm, I'm wanting to go through the big thick parts first. You can see some trash blowing around. And I set the camera up so I keep going off screen because this, this um, front yard is very long across. But I wanted to be able to at least get this good shot right here, you know. And um, I don't know, man. The first thing I noticed was like how big and wide it was and just, you know, it's just the power of it. Like driving it around, um, you know, in the street and playing with it is one thing, but having the blade on... Um, it just it just feels like you know more power it's like it's just kind of it's pretty cool actually i'm not really getting a specific striping pattern again right now because this is the first cut i'm just trying to mulch these leaves down to where they're going to be sort of invisible by the next day when they settle down into the uh, ground is like dust you know and it won't cause any problems for the grass either so you get a double cut when you get the first cut and I got a brand new mower because I'm having fun. I'm not in a rush with that. I'm like, heck yeah. It mulched those suckers down and now I'm going to go ahead and give it just a normal little pass with the shoot blocker kind of like halfway open. And uh, just to give it just enough disperse that it's not going to um, make a real bad you know, strip right there. But you can tell it it's striping to a degree. It's lighter here. Darker there, lighter here, and it's going to be darker here. But got these stupid leaves everywhere. You keep blowing back over, and uh, that's okay, you know, because I'm heading to the backyard. Now this I am speeding up a little bit here because I did a lot of um, this is tall chickweed, and it's got some funky um, little um, them little curly cue things growing, and all I did was. Um, just go back and forth on that I overlapped a lot I didn't you know go for like a striping effect or anything because I was gonna see what it did if I half overlapped if it would um if it was gonna clump and shoot out you know because I, I wanted to cut it at a, a decent enough height that um, when I come back to it it won't um, it won't be real tall I wanted to try and get it down now on the first one and um, it was as you can see dispersing and kind of clumpy so I thought well I'm gonna probably have to um, double cut this one too but hey it's a new mower and I'm still having fun so you know I wasn't, I wasn't freaked out now when you when I first put this on like um, full speed man, I was bouncing around all over the place and I was getting all kind of wobbly and goofy and um, I don't think I really need to cut with this at full speed ever um, there's a little can or something right here that this um, this guy has around this little pipe so I had to watch out for that man I would have been bad right off the bat first day I'm using it like hit that pipe and like <laughs> mess up my spindle or something oh man bad news talk about being mad oh, I'd have been very mad so again I'm getting the job done but I'm also kind of playing too so that's that's a pretty good job to have when you're having fun at work you know it's pretty cool I just reached down and picked around the can looked down there to make sure what's under there I thought, hmm, you never know and um, there you go there's your trim job around that I'm not gonna walk out there and trim it I already had to dodge it with the mower and I'm looking around going what the heck am I doing here please get me out of here oh, oh yeah I'm flying there huh <laughs> but you know it's it's um it's sped up right now but this mower is so much faster than the 36 I don't know why I guess it's the horsepower but if they you know the the transmissions you know are they the same the um I mean that trend you know the the hydros are they the same what's the story here I don't know I don't really care all I know is that when I want to I can fly on this sucker
The maiden voyage. This yard, it's my yard, but not my yard. What do I mean by that? Well, if you watched my series last year, you'll know this yard only has me um, in the fall. They don't do leaves. So when there are leaves on it, they have me do it. So I'll do like the last four cuts for them and the first two. That was the very first one for the season. And um, then they take over. But that's because I do that white house right there across the street, which I gotta do also. Look at my mower. <laughs> it was bright and shiny. Well, this was bright and shiny one time too. I got the black sulky, velky. I got the red one. This one's all red. Yeah. Dang. Finally messed up them tires, too. I got point one. I think it all. Point three now. Point three. So that's how long it took me to cut that yard with it. I did a perimeter strip with the 36. And then it's fun. It's fast. It might be a game changer. Well, there you go, 48 on that, and over here too, funky little yards, but I had a casualty. This is why I use 21 on a lot of these front yards, because there are little dips and doodles and um, spots that have been trees, and there I scalped it. I went ahead and used a 48 right here. Right? Wham, it went down in here. Scalped right there. So I used 21 over there. That <laughs> um, I'm gonna bring some dirt and I'm gonna fill in that spot and make it all even right here. But there you go. There's your fern mark for, um, for them. Well, what can you do now? So that is why I don't like to use big mowers. Well, I mean, you could, if it, if it was um, perfectly flat, you could use it. But you have to like straddle holes and sometimes you just can't. And with that big mower, I didn't exactly know um, where it was. I'm still not used to it. Seeing the casters here and the wheels back, big tires back here. And then, oh man. So there you go. Small mowers rule, huh? That's what I say. Gotta show you this, freaks. Super windy out here. But here we go. I cut the front with the 48. Had to take the 36 off to do it. I did that. I used the boulevard. I used the 36 on the boulevard. And I can't wait to spray that. There's all this crap growing up here. But the spray doesn't work yet until it's um, actually got some sun up in there to um, let it soak it in. But the 48 fit right in here. I'm becoming one of those people. I will bring a 48 inch out here, but I won't use the Velky. I just walk it. But yeah, I did it. Uh -huh. Aren't you proud of me? <laughs> it's not a zero turn. Okay, calm down. I know I still got to get a 60 inch zero turn to make your life complete, but I got a 48 on a small backyard. I went back and I cut that, that one that I trimmed earlier today and I cut it with the 36 and it was so thick with the, um, the leaves and stuff along there and it was actually pretty tall. It looked like crap and I was going back and forth going, why don't I have this 48 out? Why don't I do it? And I did it. And I'll tell you what, this thing moves forward a lot faster. 
it goes it goes faster forward. The reverse seems like it might be even slower. That's weird, but it does. But man, it, it goes forward a lot faster. And it hums. Woo, you crank that thing up. <laughs> yep, I'm becoming one of those people. Nah, I'm not. Just kidding. This is one of the yards that I didn't ever plan on really using this at. I never measured the gate to see if it would fit it or anything. But once I came back here and looked at the gate, I was like, oh man, it's, it's going through. And the only way for me to get these 10 yards done today, um, starting late, was to um, use this mower in um, different um, locations because it, just by how wide it is, even if it went the same speed, it was going to cut down on time. But it, it goes faster when um, needed to be. And obviously it's making short order of this um, backyard right now. But this, it's kind of overkill for this yard, to be honest. But, you know, hey, whatever. Desperate times call for desperate measures. You know, I have the tool. I might as well use it. Um, my shoot blocker. It's a very, very much a necessity for something like this with a white vinyl fence. Like I'm closing it right now. That way I can turn that way in that direction. Didn't spray the um, fence at all. And then I can open it and let it disperse because I know it won't hit that other vinyl fence all the way over there. And then I can kind of, um, you know, just leave it open to get down here, you know, by the other end. And I, I close it a little bit. And this time I just left it like, um, not closed, but like half so that it is still dispersing, but it only goes like a couple feet. And that way, um, I can sort of just, um, finish off the yard without, you know, anything. And, um, I can't live without a shoot blocker anymore. That's my point here. I, I can't live without it. Um, I used to, you know, run my X mark, uh, without, um, a shoot blocker and I have, you know, sprayed stuff that shouldn't have been sprayed, you know, before, or I had to make so many, like two, like two and three preliminary passes so that when I came back up the other side, I wasn't spraying stuff into the, um, flower beds. You know, I don't have to worry about that anymore and I can't live without them. 725 and that is not AM, that is PM. I know the birds are chirping, but they're all confused, just like me. I'm confused. I'm still out cutting grass, and I like that. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. You can't stop me. All right, so this was another big yard. It took me till just now to get 10 of them completed. I had to do this lot. Did the Ferris 48 on that. The 36 in the back, part of the front. I used a small mower right here because I didn't want to um, scalp it. And then this whole side right here was the Ferris. So I had to do all that. That's right, it's a big yard. You know what's across the street? The other big yard that I had, well, one of them, I did that other one too. I had all big ones today. No wonder I drug it out. I had to use it. I had to do all that, all that, that whole extra side over there, and that big giant backyard. Oh man, oh man. See, when I'm allowed to just work, work all day, Greg, I'll do it. I like it. I also like um, the money. Anytime you hear somebody do 10 yards, they made over 300 bucks. When you hear them say eight, they may have gotten close to 300 bucks. But, you know, it's all relative to whatever you're, you know, you're doing and whatever yards you're, you know, size yards or whatever. But I bounced around from my schedule. I didn't exactly, like, go according to what I should have because I just kind of hung out in this area and went to that gas station twice and did things all up and down these streets. I think I'm going to take you for a little um, walk around. Well, I'm going to do a walk. Somebody's walking right here. Um... I'm going to take you for a little drive around the neighborhood here just to show you exactly where I've been all day. And after messing with that big giant one earlier with the 36, that's why I hustled it up. And I, then once I started with that, I wanted to bang out all the big stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't know why I turned the camera off. I should just show you. 
Okay, there's the house I just did, and the one across the street over there, right? You with me? Okay. Let's drive on up here. I did this last year on the other little patch that I have of lawns. And this is about the only way you're going to um, make a really good living and fit those extra two yards per day in on a tight schedule is by having them all in a cluster. They don't have to be side by sides or anything, but they do have to be in the same neighborhood and street. So we went up, we turned a corner. We're gonna turn another corner. No cop, no stop. Rabbit just ran in front of me. I didn't run it over. I'd never do that. Now we're gonna head up here. I used to have all four of these yards on the corner. Chupacabra yard. I did this Saturday, you guys. I don't know if I, I filmed so much stuff. I had a bad weekend. Some things went crazy for me. So that's my yard. Those are all my bushes and shrubs. Here's the one I trimmed first today. I, oops, I still have that over there. And um, I did that with the 36. And that's what frustrated me. I said, ah, why am I doing this? So I need to get that new one out. So I did it. Now we'll just drive on down the street. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> How far can we go before we find another yard? Uh-oh, it looks like I haven't even cut this one yet. Nope, I haven't even got it its first cut. You've seen that, I've filmed all kinds of videos there because I, um, I get away with it. Some yards I can get away with it, some I can't. Now let's turn another corner. And you'll see. Now you think like, oh, we're going back down that same street, right? That you were just on. Uh-oh, we'll let them go. No, no, I'm one block up. Where's that lady that was walking? Man, she's gonna think I'm filming her. Man, see, I'm gonna get the cops called on me, freaks. All right. All right, across the street over here, there's the white one that I did the bushes. And then there is the ones I did this morning. I did that one, but not this morning. Trying to be cool because that lady's looking at me. She thinks I'm stalking her. <laughs> yeah, I'm a freak. So I did those earlier. And then um, what you didn't see was, or I don't know if I filmed it or not. I can't remember. I know I didn't make the first part one. Um, I did this one Saturday. That's the one I did that stupid cleanup in the back. Now, there's the two that I just left. Now let's turn the corner and get all crazy style. Watch out for the potholes up here. This is the forgotten street. The city said, forget that, we're not fixing this one. It's not even on the map. If it's not on Google Maps, it's not getting fixed. Gotta get out of that neighborhood anyway. That lady's got all kinds of people looking at me now. Wait, where am I at? Am I lost? No, I'm not lost. Well, look at this. I haven't even cut that one yet this year either. <laughs> I kind of forgot about them. Oh, what do you know? Well, what do you know? Yep. No, I didn't forget about it. I just didn't want to do it yet. <laughs> I got people freaking out and screaming. This one, gotta get done. Maybe like on Saturday or something. Let's see, can we find any more yards? Can we find any more? Oh, that's Christmas lights up. That's good. I, I would, I would like to have Christmas lights up in April. I got some freaks in the corner. I don't want to film them. They might throw their stuff at me. We got a little kid running down the street. Parents need to be watching them. And um, right here. There you go. I did that one. Friday or Saturday, I can't remember, it's all a blur. It's one big blur, I think that was Friday. And we'll turn the corner here. Oh, some more people walking. Boy, it's good weather, right? It's walking weather. Oh, oh. 
one chick looked pretty cool. <laughs> By that I mean cute or hot. And so, right here with the red truck. That's my yard. You've seen that one? You like this little tour? Tour of the one little patch. And I can't, no cop, no stop here because that might actually be a cop. You never know. <laughs> If you really want to see something freaky, I'll show you right now. There's this one, and I got it half done. All I've done so far is the front cleanup. Look at all that crap. I still got to do the back. About ready to lose my mind in that yard. I gave up and left. I'll take you back for um, the rest of it. But anyway, that's where I got my yards all over. Now, if we jump across this main um, strip up here, then I got a whole nother patch just like that and then there's that other one that's behind the quick trip on the other side see this place it's called hit and run you can drive through and get yourself a slurpee to go pretty cool right you can also get hit and run there too side swipe you actually with a trailer like this i'd probably side swipe them and then i'd run see you tomorrow freaks I'll be cutting grass, that's for sure. Rain or shine.